I'm Robert Gould. I'm the director of the graduate program in conflict resolution at Portland State University. I'm going to discuss uh, drone warfare and the debate behind the use of drones. Uh, on the one hand, it's been supposed that drone warfare can minimize war and that it can make uh, violence in the name of our country be targeted uh, more specifically on the enemies, specific enemies, uh, the terrorists in the world who seek uh, to bring violence to our country in some way, that they are an imminent threat to the security of the United States. On the other hand, there's um, some skepticism about whether that will actually uh, get the result that we want. Uh, the other hand is that, uh, that more peace-building activities are really uh, more, will be in the United States' long-term interest uh, and bring that interest into reality. So let's first discuss uh, the limitations of drone warfare. The, uh, the idea that they can actually target effectively the enemies of this country is, uh, is beyond the, the current technological abilities of drones. Uh, that their ability to actually distinguish characteristics of, of the enemy is, is not to the degree that some people suppose. And oftentimes, of course, the drones are mis mistaking who they target, uh, that women and children uh, and just innocent civilians are, uh, are killed or badly injured. So the idea that it's surgically accurate uh, to use drone warfare is, is a mistake. And the other side of the fence is that peace-building activities that really are trying to create uh, a more peaceful world is, the, is by directly dealing with the interests of different peoples around the world is, is at least argued on the side of conflict resolution to be more effective. Now, uh, what that would entail is working with the United Nations, with non-government organizations, various nonprofits around the world that are trying to create an infrastructure that is uh, positive uh, towards development, towards economic, religious, cultural, and political freedom to develop and thrive as those cultures deem fit. And if we have a, a model, a peace building model that's, that's already in place, if that's given more priority, then the need for drones becomes uh, much less of a concern.